We are now delighted to be joined by former U.S. Assistant Secretary for Health and the 16th Surgeon General of the United States, Dr. David Satcher. Thank you for being here. I'm honored to meet you, certainly. You have been dogged in your pursuit for health equity. So I want you to tell me in your perspective how far we've come and perhaps more importantly, how far we still need to go. Well, thank you. Uh, I have tried to be dogged and because as you probably well know, I almost died um, of whooping cough when I was uh, about a year and a half old. And that story, you know, was told to me over and over again by my mother and others. There was one black physician in, in Aniston at that time. So I, I grew up determined that, that I was gonna try to make a difference in that area. And you have certainly, and in your book, which is you know, My Quest for Health Equity, when people read that, what do you hope they take away? Well, number one, there's hope. Because you know, my, I've come a long ways in this quest. I mean, I've helped a lot of other people on, along the way. I've motivated a lot of young people to go into medicine and nursing and public health and areas like that. So I think that's how we, that's the most important thing we can do in the quest is to keep building a core of people. Secondly, you need to know enough. You need to really know the facts and to know where the opportunities for intervention are. Thirdly, um, you have to have the courage to act. And as you probably know by now, I, as a student at Morehouse, uh, I virtually uh, took a chance of giving up my career in order to go to jail to, when we could not eat in restaurants. At, there was only one restaurant, I believe, in Atlanta at the time that would serve blacks. So the, we, the students, decided that we were going to intervene, even though it meant going to jail and, in one case, prison. And finally, you have to be willing to persevere. And you can imagine, with, at my age, I've done a lot of persevering. Yeah. So, but I've been fortunate, you know, and hope that other people will not you know, have to fight the same battles again. Even though obviously we're not there yet, we've come a long ways. You're such an inspiration, I think, because you began that leadership role, as you mentioned, back in college, and then a pioneer in your career as well. In that knowledge, you know some of the greatest challenges. What would you say they are, and what would be your advice to try to overcome them as we move forward? Well, you know, obviously you have to say that one of the greatest challenges is making sure that we keep generating interest in medicine and public health, that we keep motivating young people to go into these fields, and that we keep supporting them. One of the problems we have, of course, is, as you all know, African Americans are greatly underrepresented in the health professions. We're making some progress, and we have to keep making that progress. So we, we have to we have to motivate young people. We have to get them interested in, quote, STEM careers, you know, and because some of them think, well, that's not for me. Well, we, we can change that, and that's what we're trying to do, is to show that we can change it. You broke through so many of those barriers. If you look back now, are there things you would have done differently, or is there advice to people that you say from the lessons that you've learned? Well, um, I would have to say that I've been very fortunate and therefore it's very difficult for me to complain about what didn't happen. Uh, neither of my parents finished elementary school. However, they were very supportive of their children's education. Well, you are such an inspiration, Dr. David Satcher. Thank you so much you. for sitting down with us and taking the time to talk with Enjoyed us. Enjoyed it. Thank you.